What's going on ladies and gentlemen? I am back here again. I'm still out fishing. It's about an hour and a half later. So I'm going to light up a second stogie here. Um, this is the Hoya de Nicaragua Dark Corojo. The Antaño. Um, on, the, on the foot here it says double or doble fuerte. Um, little foot wrapper. Kind of nice. It's, it's a somewhat spongy cigar. Very potent. Very barnyard like. Kind of a stinky one. Um... It's, it says the size is the La Niveladora, something like that. Uh, I looked for it. I couldn't find the exact specifics on it, but I think it's about a Toro size. It looks to be about maybe a 6, 6.5 times about 52. So it looks like a decent size stick. It's got kind of a box press on it, if you can see that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take the foot land off here. But I know this is a, like I said, I forgot my paper. So I know it's a Nicaraguan Piro, and I think it's just the... the Corojo wrapper. It's a Nicaraguan, Nicaraguan Corojo. Alrighty, I'm going to get this bad boy chopped up and charred. Wow, not a bad start at all. That is very nice. Actually, I'm not sure if I got the whole thing lit. Hold on. saying it's a very good start I didn't have the whole thing lit so the smoke output was definitely not where it should have been but now this thing is smoking as you can see like crazy off the foot just going crazy uh, initial flavors getting like a real nice natural sweetness kind of a sweet very uh, mild coffee tiny bit of pepper a little bit earthy kind of like a gritty earthiness medium tobacco got a real like kind of smoky not like a cigar doesn't really smell like a cigar coming off the foot not your typical cigar smell okay the campfire almost smoke output is excellent uh, smokes off the foot like crazy though this is not one for the car at all really smooth really kind of a chocolate coming in now it's like a deep, kind of dark chocolate. Really thick. Nice. Alright guys, I'm going to get into the first uh, third and I'll get back to you. Wow. it's a lot of smoke, huh? Great smoke output, guys. I am 35 minutes in here. Um, finishing up, almost done with the first third, so maybe about 40 minutes I'll be done with the first third. It's a somewhat slow burner. Uh, smoke output is still awesome as you just saw the burn line is almost razor sharp uh, not needing any touch-ups at all uh, the actual burn line itself is a little bit puffy so not like a razor sharp but kind of a tiny bit of a puffy black line the like an ash kind of flowers off as you can see right there a little bit so it ashed me once already about it maybe an inch half inch somewhere in there hmm this cigar it's also a dessert stick. Uh, this one is a lot sweeter um, than the last stick I smoked, which was the Nub Maduro. It's got like a natural kind of raw sugar sweetness to it. It's very nice. Um, this one's got more like the uh, kind of like a mocha going on with the sweetness. It's very, very enjoyable. Um, there's hardly any kick to it. Um, even though I said it's full bodied, I'm getting more like a medium to full on the, like, the flavor-wise. 
Uh, strength wise, not a problem at all. Uh, it's been very enjoyable. I haven't thought about it twice. I'm just fishing, taking a puff every once in a while, just letting it sit. It's not, you know, wanting to go out on me or anything like that. So it's great. It's a great sticking to let it sit down and not have to worry about. Very smooth. Lots of chocolate, just tons of chocolate flavor. As far as I know, this isn't an infused cigar, so that's very awesome. Nice, just a clean mouthfeel. Right on. All right, I'm gonna get back into the second third, finish out with that, and then I will get back to you and let you know what's happening. All right, guys, I'm back here finishing up with the second third. Almost there, just past the halfway point. Um, let's see here. I honestly do not remember what time I started the cigar, so I can't give an exact time frame. But it is still burning quite slow. Um, a couple times it acted like it wanted to almost go out on me, so I just gave it a little touch up with the lighter. Kind of like a, not a touch up, but like a kick start to, to get going again. And now it's doing just fine. A smoke output is back to normal. Um, flavor wise, pretty consistent. Uh, the mocha is turning into more like a chocolate than a mocha. Uh, still a tiny bit sweet, but the sweetness is kind of falling off now. The pepper is uh, picking up just a tiny bit on the finish. Kind of goes into the back of the throat a little bit. Tiny bit earthy also. It's a very nice overall stick. Um, right now I'm just pairing it with a water, but a coffee would be just fucking awesome. Maybe an iced coffee with a cigar would be a great, just a porch cigar, you know, with iced coffee. Just kick the feet up. Or go fishing out here. I'm about 10, I caught about 10 small bass right now, so... Kind of, kind of a good day. I don't know, the sun's going down. Sorry for the no shirt on the review update. Trying to get some uh, some sun out here, but it's not really happening. And the fish are stopping. They're not biting anymore, so we'll see what happens. But I'm going to finish out and uh, see what happens here. Burn line. Mm, kind of kind of crazy, a little wild, but uh, not requiring anything else. See if it holds its own. I'm going to get into the band point, and I'll come back and give you a final update on the way out. All right, guys, I'm back here fishing up with a nub. Um, I think I'm around an hour and a half in, just gauging off of fishing time. Um, I can't give you an exact time, but that's what I feel like the cigar gave me, about an hour and a half. I'm not even down to the nub yet. There's a, maybe another inch you could smoke if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to the store here pretty soon, so I'm gonna end it within the next five minutes, but um, the last third has been very uh, like an earthy espresso with a uh, slightly peppery finish. Um, the pepper is very faint, though, just enough to let you know it's there, kind of like the last stogie. Nothing that goes into the throat though, it kind of faded off. The pepper was a lot stronger. Uh, not a lot stronger, but it was more prominent on the first two thirds. So it's definitely, um, still sticking around. Pepper, not bad. I'm liking the cigar. I had a couple issues with it, and from the halfway to the last third point, it just went out on me twice. Like I maybe set it down for a minute at the most, and then I picked it up and it's completely out. So I don't know what the hell's wrong with it, but, uh, it's, it's going good now. I lit it back up and I didn't get any harsh flavors or anything. So, I mean, it was only out for about a minute. So, I picked it back up and it's going good now. Burn line is pretty decent for the most part. It's just a minor flaw going out, but uh, didn't cause it any damage at all. So, it's going to be fine. I'm going to finish it out. Um, definitely one to try. It's a delicious stick. Uh, very dessert-like. Great flavors out of it and uh, lots of smoke. So, let me know what you think of it and I'll see you guys next time.